Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Bumblebee1009, and welcome back to Gone Home. Real quick, before we start this episode, if you do like this content, this year, in 2023, I am looking to grow this channel, and that starts with you guys. So if you do like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and watch all the way to the end. It really helps out uh, me and what I'm trying to do here on this channel. But that's enough of that. For now, let's get right back into this. Where we left off, we were in the... Um, I believe the little girl's bedroom, or not not the little girl, but, you know, Sam's bedroom. No, oh, where were we? Oh, yeah, we had just gotten out of, um, this hallway. We had just got done looking through all this in this hallway. Also, make sure to go watch last episode if you haven't already. Again, the sensitivity is real high, so sometimes it's gonna be a bit weird to look at it's in this one is there anything important directions to work on what I have no idea what that says left on grab tree right on I have no X okay is it I don't know what the fuck this says but okay Okay, what is this one? What is, is there anything in this one? Not that I see. Nope. Nothing. Okay. And grab the tissue box. Huh. Okay. What's in here? Front hall. Oh. Grab board game. Over the Alps, a novel traveling game for two to six players. Nothing else important. Put back. I forgot that that happens. Is this door still locked? Yes, it is. Okay. So there's nothing else. That hall is unlocked, so I'm assuming we just head upstairs. Which... So far, there's been no, like, horror, ma or major horror aspect, just normal pack of cards again. Yep, I'll put that, that back then. Controlled burn, scheduled for Boone County. Boone County plums, uh, plumes of smoke? I don't know how to say that. Of smoke will rise above the northeastern region of Boone County over the better part of next week. As part of a forestry service run, controlled burn of overgrown sections of the flint not of the flintlock national forest forestry crews have been preparing the area for months the burn operation will take place between 8 a.m and 5 p.m on monday tuesday wednesday and possibly into thursday depending on speed of progress according to the forestry service uh, in addition to removing dead and overgrown vegetation that can lead to wildfires in drier months the operation will serve as a valuable training tool for the forestry and firefighting personnel involved said senior conserv conservationist Janice Greenbrier. Oh, so that's the that's their mother. Smoke will likely linger in the area through the following weekend. Okay, that's a bit nice, I guess. But yeah, as I was saying, there's not really much of a horror aspect of, to this I'm, as I'm seeing. It's just you trying to find things. Why is everything in such good cursive? Monday, couple, cu bur bur burning? Does it say burning? Let's take. I do not know what any of that says. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna leave that alone. Actually. Uh, examine form. Notice of temporary personal transfers. Bruce Pendleton, head of personnel, State Forestry Service. To aid in the upcoming prescribed burn operation, a ranger with expertise in the procedure is being transferred to the station at Flintlock, at Flintlock National Forest, effective 9294. Please see attached personal file. The overseeing officer at Flintlock Forestry Station, Senior Conservationist Janice Greenbrier, is charged with the supervision of the transferred personnel. 
The duration of the transfer will be based upon performance evaluation as well as recommendation of the overseeing officer. Signed, Bruce Pendleton. Okay, nothing really important there. Let's get going then. What's this? Does it say, what does it say? Oh, cassette case. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour, and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape, and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Love things, stab, cherry bomb, throw away, product, some special, fuck your fans, Polaroid baby, panic, bitch theme, Richard, cool schmool, schwana, oh, what does that say, schwana, kiss, ride, man, why can't I read that? Or do I have to read it like that? No, you can't even read it like that, so you have to kind of read it. That's so dumb that you can't keep it up. Eh, that's fine. Did she just, like, run away with whoever is being this friend? Radiation area, keep out. Oh, this must be Sam's room. I see, I see, I get it. Oh, I don't like that there's two doors to this room. Not one bit do I like that there's two doors to this room. Even though this, there's been no like major horror aspect, like anything's been wrong. Groove, exclusive, AIDS in Africa, Soul, Soul Asylum live, or live, Eddie Vedder, Weezer. Man, why is Weezer here? The brother 150. This is the one me and my dad are building. Wanna go for a ride when it's done? Of course, it's Ferris New, New Freer, 1965. Hmm. Oh, you need a code. For this. Will I find the code somewhere? Got your number. Are you going to dance with anyone who's got a crush on you? What is... Uh, is this just telephone? I'm pretty sure it's basically just telephone, but okay. The King's Labyrinth, Chapter 2, Fraying Threads. Captain Allegra, still in her flowing skirt and sturdy jerkin, and sturdy jerkin, uh, descended the single shining thread into the lower cavern of the labyrinth. She and the first mate, on their own now, grew closer to their goal, the throne room of the dead immortal king of the island. The first mate slid down the line onto the stone floor. She swept chalky bone dust from the front of her canvas trousers and looked up at Allegra. The silken thread, uh, nigh Unbreakable thanks to the enchanted moths that inhabited the island, trailed behind, uh, le leading their way back to the entrance from further into the labyrinth. A moaning began to echo. The moaning grew louder and clearer. It turned into words of some ancient language they could not understand. The king's curse the voice. The hairs on Captain Allegra's arms stood on, on end. She looked back at the first mate, whose eyes remained locked onto the blankness of the passage for a moment, too long before noticing the captain's gaze. The first mate nodded silently ahead. Following the king's ghostly song deeper and deeper into the labyrinth, they came upon a rocky gap, spilling forth otherworldly blue light. The great basin of the dead king's throne room lay below. Skeletal in rotted robes, the king was hunched over the blue orb, topping his royal scepter. Shadows of his bony fingers danced on the walls like ghouls. 
as he sang, wailing his wailing souls followed in one way by one through the cracks in the cave walls pulled into the orb causing it to grow brighter and brighter behind the king a long staircase hewn from rock led down into the chamber from a passage at the top allegra said we have the advantage in numbers i will draw his attention and then you but the first mate interrupted, No, I am, a, I am smaller and quicker, and you know of dealing with m mystic energies like these. I will circle to the other side, get the king's attention, and lead him on a merry chase. She held up a silk line, all traced by this invisible thread, of course. Allegra said, It, it is a good plan, but perhaps we should go together. The first mate shook her head. You know this is the best is our best chance. Don't be afraid for me. They grasped hands and exchanged three tight squeezes, their palms growing warm. The first mate tried to sh tried the shining thread to the or tied the shining the shining thread to her belt, the belt of her trousers, gave a quick uh, salute and a wink, and dashed off. Allegro waited, staring vigilantly across the top of the stairs where the first mate was to appear. The king continued his wait his weight. No, no, the singing stopped. The king turned and began walking up the stairs. Allegra wanted to call out to do not anything to stop the first mate from running ahead, for running headfirst into danger. She tried tugging on the line to signal her. No use. The king was nearly at the top of the stairs when the first mate burst through the passageway. She skidded to a stop. Even from across the yawning basin, Allegra could see the first mate's eyes grow wide. She turned and ran, summoning his undead power. The king left the ground, levitating, gliding behind her with distressing speed. From some dank passage uh, much too far away, Allegra heard the first mate scream. She was r already running towards the sound. The line in Allegra's hand was ta went taut, then, shr then shuddered. It fell slack to the stone floor. As Allegra ran, she was gathering the line, twisting it around her arm. She came to its end. The unbreakable thread dangled limply, its end shredded and frayed in her hand. She tossed it to the ground and ran, and ran, and ran. Damn. That's a good story so far. Man, Sam had this in, like, fourth grade. Holy Bible. Another Holy Bible. Okay. I'm making sure there's nothing else I'm missing. I do like this game. You get... There's a lot to look at. Grab cartridge. Super Spitfire. Wow. Journey of Crystal. Okay, then. What's this cartridge? Adventurous the Cat returns. Chun Li moves. Fireball. Back hold. Front punch. Lightning kick. Kick, 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 kick. Helicopter kick. Down hold. Up kick. Air stomp. Down MK while jumping. Okay. She must be a Street Fighter player. Oh, yeah, because in the last time she said that they started learning, or she would hang out with them while they played Street Fighter at the old place. Bratmobile. Kushmule. I want to check if there's anything else in these before I play. Nope. gonna put that back that was actually i'm honestly not i'm not gonna lie that was actually kind of somewhat good 
Hi Lonnie, I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. If if or it's what all the cool kids are doing. Uh, Liv decided. I get okay. I don't know what that says. Uh, write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw: two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is so is suiting each other is suiting each other pages on their beepers but we're cooler than them because guess what they can't put this on a beeper does that say beeper what is a beeper your drawing of the cat was so good that i added on added a background to it even to make it even better maybe i should just stick to writing to writing though I, haha i like it how did you know they were about to be abducted by aliens i'm looking for mr uh polish right now i feel like he would probably have lots of cats also like his secret shame is being he watches what is that i have no idea what that says religiously it, i'll i'll ask him about it at, about it after class he said he doesn't have cats and also that he's never watched not well, i don't know what that says but I could see see it in his eyes. He was lying. <laughs> okay then. Huh. Am I missing something from this? Does this tape have like a number on it or something? No, I'm not missing anything. Scrutinize. Spare. No numbers. There's nothing. Weird. Grab Steggy? Stelly? Steggy. Oh, it's Steggy. Look at, look at Steggy. It's Steggy. Groove. Kurt Cobain. 1967 to 1994. Can't say say how he died on YouTube, but man, it was a sad day. I wasn't even alive, but I can still say it was a sad day that it, when he died. Had some really good music. Ooh. Name Samantha Greenbrier. Year 11. Teacher Fletcher. Period 5. Sh subject Shop 1. Assignment Metalworking. Engraving. Grade C. Not a challenging assignment, metal plaque for family portrait, reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents' names, I did not mean just add them underneath. Acceptable leveling on edges, show more pride and work. I mean, I'd hide that. Read crumpled note. Student name, Yondola DeSoto, grade 12, room hall, uh, Mr. Fracture, or factual description of incident. So I observed Mr. Leto wearing a t-shirt with an unacceptable image on the front, a large beer can labeled Pas Pabst Blue Ribbon. Mr. DeSoto was sent to the guideline, guidance counselor's office, actually taken by faculty miss was given the option to turn her shirt inside out change into a shirt from her gym locker or be suspended for the rest of the day mrs soto chose suspension her father was called but there was no answer and no answering machine mr soto must return this form tomorrow signed by her father student signature lonnie i call that's bullshit I'm trying to find this dumb little thing that says the the misfits. Hmm. I'm still trying to find this dumb little uh what is it called that has the locker number on it. Read brochure. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you. I'm not going to read all that. <laughs> Grab the three ring binder. Is there anything on it? No. 
weird. I'm st I'm still mad that I can't find the thing for that, or there and there's also one all the way down the other hall. I'm gonna exit this way. Can't open the purse. Huh. Grab postcard. Dear mo mom, dad, and Sam, I am in Chan Chanel. This is my second passage through the sh Chanel. I'm on my way back from London, this time going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write on the way to London, but I was too excited about the Chanel. London was great. Dad, I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You love it. If you want it, all wanted to come back here as a family sometime, I guess it would. I would be convinced. Love you all, Katie. Was that door always open? Mom, Dad, Sam, or Arbor Hill. Was that door always open? I don't remember. I'm going to hope so. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna hope this door was always open. Examine bookmark. Timberland Booksellers. Okay, so it's literally just a bookmark. Walt Whitman, Leaves of Grass. Grab a three ring binder. Why is there so many just random three ring binders around here? Dear Sam, oh honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had our down pen set, pen it? I don't know what that says. It's become a bit of a way of life, actually. You get a, a need to each of the, uh, to each other. Oh, you get used to each other. You live your own lives in the same house the kind the kids grow up they go away I'm proud or, I don't know what that says this isn't helping is it don't worry Tenny or Terry will get our of it I don't know what that says whatever's distracting him things will get back to normal and as for Sam being distant that's a teenage that's a teenager for you nothing to worry about I'm the in the meantime though this controlled burn that pounds like quite the adventure but let's cut to the chase this me this news means I don't know what this is they won't or they so I don't know that's what I want to hear about Roger I think that says Roger Rick or Rick you have to be kidding me it's uh, too perfect you have to tell me everything and pictures. I want the whole package. Wait, that sounded wrong. <laughs> Keep your chin up until uh, Terry is out of his plump. S slump? Out of his slump? I don't know what that, uh, what word that is. And in the meantime, 
write more letters. No. I don't want to look at a ghost game. But am I the only one? No, that has to be that you guys had to have heard that. I cannot be the only one that heard. The, like messing of a lock or something. Oh, hell no. Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Ghost Hunter's Journal. No. Okay, I'm gonna read this and then I'm gonna end this episode off. That, that hallway, I want that to be a last episode alone. Because there's also a downstairs area that I missed. Okay, so August 31st, 1994, 1.11am. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was... It was Uncle Oscar. No, I was not wearing my glasses. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello, did not investigate, probably was the furnace. 4.11 p.m. Pour milk from the corruption in the fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. October 9th, 1994. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV from in the TV room. I suddenly began to feel cold. We built a protective... Pillow Fort, October 22nd, 19. Lonnie and I employ a Ouija board as a medium. Disturbed messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. To October 9th, 4 a.m. En enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in the attic, probably leaky roof, probably leaky roof, or a due to leaky roof. Sample taken just in case, despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. My god. Oops, in here. Oh, just nothing? Okay. 
Okay. Damn. For now, I'm going to end this episode here. If you did like this episode, please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. My god, that is... She said she won't be needing it anymore. And I was so sure, so sure there was no horror aspect to this game. Like, it was just going to be ambiance. You were just going to find an empty house. Maybe, like, the smoke had drove everyone out. No. Sam said, you can use my room. I won't be needing it anymore. If it is what I think it is, if she has committed sewer slide, committed sewer slide, I can't really say the other word. That is, or like if the attic is all messed up now, because I still have that one downstairs room that's locked. And then the rest of the upstairs. If it's what I think it is, I'm about to be... Man. That's gonna be heavy. To That's gonna be heavy for a game like this. But again, for now, I'm gonna end this episode here. I'm gonna get into the next episode tomorrow morning. Or tomorrow after work. But yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.